Good Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. I'm meteorologist Mike Ottenweller at the National Weather Service with your Alaska statewide weather. Looking at the weather map this afternoon, we do see a very active pattern setting up mainly for the western and northern half of the state. And with that, across the Fairbanks area and down towards southeast Alaska, we have plenty of winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings to talk about. Starting out over the western half of the state, that's where we have several winter storm warnings, basically stretching up from the St. Michael and Anvik area up through Kotzebue and then stretching out across Arctic Village towards Colleen River and the northern Yukon Valley. These are all winter storm warnings primarily in effect from this afternoon until as early or until as late as midnight Friday night or 6 a.m. Friday morning. Uh, check with your local forecast area to see exactly how long those products are in effect for your area. And then up north of the Brooks Range, we do have winter weather advisories in effect from 6 p.m. this evening until midnight Friday night. And again, expecting snow, some pockets of blowing snow, and some freezing rain down towards the uh, Norton Sound area and possibly up into the Kotzebue Sound. For South Central Alaska, we're looking for foggy conditions to set up once again overnight tonight as high pressure moves in. And so that watch out for some dense fog in the valley and around Cook Inlet as we go into Thursday morning. Out for Southeast Alaska, that's where we have a few winter storm warnings and advisories in, winter weather advisories in effect until 6 p.m. Wednesday evening as snow tapers off. Those products are expected to die off tonight. As we go into tonight for the western portion of the state, this freezing rain and strong southerly flow moves in with the warm air, and that's where we see the continuation of those products, the winter weather warnings and the winter storm warnings and the winter weather advisories. Snow, blowing snow, and again, mixed precipitation expected for the western and northern portions of the state. Down towards the Alaska Peninsula, rain starts to move into the pattern as we get into uh, the overnight hours and into Thursday for the Alaska Peninsula and down towards Dutch Harbor. Meanwhile, over to the Bering Sea, areas of low pressure continue to spend some cold air back into the Barren and help to trigger new systems, but also some rain-snow mix for areas out there. As we go into Friday, high pressure starts to move in over southern, south central and southeast Alaska, helping things over southeast Alaska to quiet down quite a bit. Expect some foggy conditions possible on Thursday and Friday as we get towards south central Alaska with high pressure and control. It's really over western Alaska where we see the biggest impacts from this strong, moist system coming in from the south up moving towards the north, and that's where we have those advisories and those warnings in effect, some of them all the way through Friday. As we get into Friday over the Bering Sea, a new system moves in at 951 millibars, very strong system, 